My name's Dr. Marcy Delaney, and on behalf of the entire team here, we'd like to welcome you to NASA's Digital Learning Network at Goddard Space Flight Center. Goddard Space Flight Center is the largest institution in the world devoted to studying our planet Earth. I'd like to first hear from all the schools that are participating with us today. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to La Sierra Military Academy. From uh, Cal Allen Middle School in Corpus Christi, Texas on the Gulf Coast. Cornell, Missouri, and we are third through sixth grade. Welcome to Providence State Middle School, a pre-K through 12th grade school on the west side of Chicago. So let's move on. I'd like to introduce you to our very special guest, Mr. Kenji Williams. Welcome to the DLN. Thank you, Marcy. <laughs> before, we, uh, before we get started, why don't you go ahead and give a little talk about your inspiration for this piece. Yeah, so uh, today I'm here to perform for you guys a project named Bella Gaia. It means beautiful earth. And it has a very interesting story behind it. Uh, I went to Russia in 2005, which is where they also launch rockets to space. And I witnessed a rocket launch of the Soyuz uh, rocket that goes to the space station. Uh, so let me just play that clip for you right now. So I was totally blown away by that experience and uh, on that same trip I went to Russia, uh, Russia's capital, Moscow, where they also train uh, astronauts and I met a NASA astronaut named Mike Fink and he had lived on the space station for six months and it was my first time meeting a real astronaut and I asked him, you know, what is it that changed when you went to space? And he said that before he went to space his favorite planets were Mars and Jupiter and Saturn uh, but once he went to space and looked out the window of the space station, he saw planet Earth and completely fell in love with planet Earth. So Earth had become his favorite planet. So this very simple story uh, really inspired me to create a project, an experience, a performance that takes you to space so that you feel like an astronaut and can see the Earth like astronauts do. First, from our live participants, could we have a question from La Sierra Military Academy? Is it global warming destroying the North Pole? Do you have a favorite compo okay. composer? Yes. Um, I, I have many favorites in various genres. Uh, and as a child, what do you imagine that you would do to help humanity? Why do you sometimes play an amplified violin? And what are some of the differences between the two instruments? I am actually playing an acoustic violin. Uh, what is the difference between animation and visualization? The difference between, in general, animated movies and visualizations is that visualizations are based on measurements. 
Is it is it difficult trying to put the right kind of music with uh, the art that you have? Uh, it, it is it is a challenge, uh, but that's what I really love about it is the challenge. What steps were involved in the process of this collaboration between you and NASA? Also, were there so, any great impediments? Um, just in, in, in relation to the last question, I think science needs art and that we do need more artists to translate science into a way that people can understand and uh, vice versa, art needs science as well. So. It's an honor to bring the, both worlds together today. Absolutely, I couldn't agree anymore. Well, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you so much for being part of our Earth Day celebration here at Goddard Space Flight Center. Remember to think globally and act locally and do your part in keeping our Earth beautiful. Have a wonderful day, everybody.